Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the grips, dumbbell grips, and I'm going to show you a neat little trick which will give you an extra bonus without you having to spend any extra time. And that is, uh, here is a normal dumbbell, and you can see the grip is not that great, I mean not that fat, it's just a normal grip, you can wrap, you can, I can wrap my hand around the grip, no problem. Now. Um, that grip is okay, but a fatter grip would exercise my forearms for free because I don't have to do any ex exercises for my forearms. They get exercised every time I lift that uh, dumbbell, regardless of the exercise I'm doing, whether it's for biceps, for triceps, for back, whatever. My forearms are getting exercised and they're getting more exercised the fatter the grip is. Obviously, a grip too fat is not that productive because I wouldn't be able to hold that dumbbell in my hands. Now, there are many solutions to getting a fat grip. There are some solutions you can buy on the market. Uh, other solutions are you get some fat tubing and uh, uh, cut, cut some threads on it and put a weights on and screw, screw those weights with some uh, screws. But for me, and according to my experience, I found that the best solution is if you get a piece of rope like this. You get a simple piece of rope. You can get from any Home Depot or uh, similar stores. And you wrap that rope around this grip. And it looks something like that. Here's now a finished example. And I wrapped the rope around the grip. And the end I taped with duct tape. So it doesn't unravel and you can see here the difference now look i can't wrap my hand around that grip you see and just by comparison see here no problem okay but here yes problem i can't wrap it around and that's a nice grip now that grip exercises my forearms every time i lift that dumbbell and you don't want to make the grip too fat because if it's too fat, you know, I, you know, if I have a heavy dumbbell and I'm doing some exercises, I risk slipping it. And if I'm lying underneath the dumbbell or barbell, this could be very dangerous. So you gotta, you gotta watch it. Don't make it too, too fat. And the nice thing about rope is that in contrast to other solutions is that the rope offers you a nice natural grip. Even if you got wet hands, you know, like when you exercise, you're sweating, obviously, and your hands tend to get wet. So with this rope, you have really a nice grip, which stops the slipping. Actually, this grip is way better than this one. So you have two bonuses with that. First, a fatter grip, and second, a better grip, which uh, reduces slippage, you know, due to uh, sweat or, or wet hands or whatever. And... Uh, the nice thing about a fat grip, like I said, is like you get you get to exercise your forearms without having to do any extra exercises for your forearms. Because every exercise where you're lifting a dumbbell or a barbell, you're exercising your forearms. So that's my tip. And you can see here there are some dumbbells. Actually, all my dumbbells have fat grips, and all of them done with rope. And the rope I picked is not that fat. I mean, I don't know the dimensions of that, but. It's, you can see it's not that fat and if you got a piece of rope and you find that the grip is still too small just wrap a second wrapping around and see if uh, if it's better just mind you don't do it too fat because a, a, a grip which is too fat is really uh, first of all it's no fun lifting heavy weights with such a fat grip and like I said if you're underneath a barbell or a dumbbell and you got a fat grip and you haven't got a, a secure grip on it uh, well you're looking for trouble and uh, I'm just thinking yeah that's about it I mean um, just make sure you, you duct tape it so it doesn't unravel and and those dumbbells I mean those have been are, are have been used daily for the last seven years and you can see they're still quite stable no problem and even if the you know even if I got some you know I don't know the rope is like uh, used up or something no problem I just take it off put a new piece of rope in there and that's it it doesn't cost anything and it's 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 quickly done
and can be done on, on any uh, dumbbell or barbell you got.